and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for our next standard shakeup deck. We got Simic Hydra. Again, if you're just uh, new to standard shakeup, this is regular standard with all of these cards banned. Um, makes it a little bit more fun. Get to play some jankier stuff. So our next deck that we're going to be playing in this format is Simic Hydra. The reason why we're calling it this is because we're playing Bio Essence Hydra. Ooh, and Hawkeye decides to come join us. Hey, Hawkeye. Um, so yeah, Bio Essence Hydra is our five mana <clears throat> Hydra. We also have Voracious Hydra as well. But, you know, it's a 4-4 Trampler, but it ETBs with an additional plus one, plus one counter on it for each loyalty counter on a Planeswalker. And plus, whenever we play a new Planeswalker, whenever it enters with a bunch of loyalty, it puts more counters on Bio Essence Hydra. So we don't have a whole lot of Planeswalkers because it's kind of hard to fit them all in, but five, six, seven, eight. We got eight Planeswalkers to go along with it. Um, you know, most notably Kiora. Kiora with Bio Essence Hydra is amazing. But this is a pretty fast format, so we need to keep some a uh, good amount of blockers. So we're going with Love Struck Beasts instead of like other um, Planeswalkers, even though the Love Struck Beasts aren't just amazing on their own because just making a 1-1. One, one, um, like they're the only things that can make 1-1s, one, basically. But we got Ceratops, Cavalier of Thorns, all sorts of awesome stuff. We have Samet that can give the Bioessence Hydra haste. Um, Tamio can go find Hydra or get back other Hydras. Not sure how good this deck's going to do, but it should be fun. So here we go. Let's play some games. Yeah, the Four Horsemen. Yeah, that, that Legacy deck. That was like... like Maybe my first Legacy deck. I really liked that deck back in the day. It was a really sweet combo deck. That was really hard to disrupt, but it did. You, it could take. Um, you know, it did basically get get. Uh, it made it like basically against the rules to play because it could take thirty. You know, it could take thirty minutes just to like whenever you're comboing just to actually finish the combo. I mean, could take even longer. It was. It was one that. It was just, <clears throat> you had to hit a, a certain subset of cards put into your graveyard before another card. And you just kind of keep on doing it one by, mill over yourself one by one by one. I'll just keep. This hand's too slow. Oh, I thought I was on the play. Never mind. I don't like that we kept. This hand's too slow against aggro. But Temple of Epiphany probably means not aggro. Kiora, Kiora. All right, so it looks like Grixis control. So next turn we could play a very large Bio Essence Hydra, or we could go Ceratops with haste. Hmm. Wonder what they want, what they really, really want. They can get anything. I cannot get Fires of Invention. That card's banned. Angrass Rampage. Make me sacrifice. Well, I could just play the Tamio, and then, the, then I don't have to sacrifice anymore. I guess that's probably the way to go. What am I going to be ticking up for, though? I would like to ask about the and not let me aid your research. Maybe a Samet? Oh, I should have said Bio Essence Hydra. Oh, I would have grabbed two Hydras. I guess saying Sam, it's just a, a bad card to say anyway, because it's just a one of. I should have said, like, something that wasn't a one of. Oh, no, Elder Spell.
Hmm. I love to make a splash. Yeah, I'll just play the sixteen sixteen. Puts a little pressure on them. You want an Elder Spell? Better have another Black Mana Source. Otherwise, you dead. Nope. Try again. <laughs> Good job, Hawkeye. Yeah, that was awesome. That was awesome, Hawkeye. Okay. Because we're going to be able to play our other Kiora also and put another seven counters on that Hydra. This is going to be a 23-23. Tammy, yo! So, of course, I, I would like to draw a land to be able to play Cavalier of Thorn next turn. That's that's the card I want to play. Hmm. Alright, we got a Ceratops. Gracious Hydros. Oh, I can't the tap Ceratops. Whoops. It's pro blue. No. Bio essence. They can, of course, just mill this back over, but that means they're not attacking. Wow, they just let me draw it? That's surprising. Yeah, that's surprising. Ceratops. Do good. All right, 2-0. Oh. You want me to do a poll for whether we should do more trivia? All right, 60-second poll. Should we do more trivia, yes or no? Seems like people are enjoying the trivia. 
we still will do a 60 second poll. Yes or no, more trivia. No, I do not draft on, no, I don't do draft on stream. So yeah, either type yes or no into the chat if you like the trivia and you you would like it another round to continue. All right, flyers, We've gotta get our reach with our Cavalier of Thorns. Yeah, I did I did the one time Paul, but since then I decided just to do not not to do that and just do regular standard. It's a good hand. Got ran over. We had turn four Cavalier, but on the draw, that's just too slow. We were dead. All right, let's draw lands. Could use a land. It's possible even instead of maybe even instead of the the three mana five fives, maybe we should just be playing a bunch of Kral Harpooners. It does seem like everybody's playing flyers. Like Kral Harpooner, Kral Harpooner looks really valuable. For this format. Hey, OG. What do you think, Hawkeye? Can Bioass and Cider win this one for us? Get it. I walk a righteous path. I will lend you my strength.
Nature flows with vigor. So obviously they can just keep the bio essence hider tapped with a lot of rune enforcer, but that does keep one of their mana doing that. But it doesn't look very likely that we're going to be winning this. With these law rune enforcers. That doesn't help either. Prepare yeah, there's one battle. Vivian Champion of the Wilds in here. Yeah, I'm, I'm making this four so we get to draw a card off of Kiora. Killing the flyer. Um, thoughts on Simic Ascendancy? I think it's not really doable. Still don't really see us winning this. These Law Rune Enforcers plus Gideon still mess us up pretty bad. But the Hydra was a good draw. Jeez. Well, that's not good. Wow, that's even worse. We need Flood of Tears. I believe in you. Nope, not a land. We played three mana creatures and they still spent more mana than I did. And they only played three lands. Sand looks good. 
Guess I could have played the temple. I was kind of already playing this. Playing too fast. Drowned secrets. This arc light deck really struggles winning without having turn two drown secrets, but turn two drown secrets on the play, this is where it picks up, pick up picks up its wins. So it isn't really even something that I affect too much. It's like, you know, do they have drown secrets turn two on the play? Yes or no? Yeah, def definitely excited about the new set. Um, not necessarily any one particular card right now. With, you know, with me playing so much Magic each day and, you know, getting decks ready, all the, you know, and all that kind of stuff, I don't really have as much time to dive into the new cards. Um but I mean, I'm I'm the kind of person that's honestly just excited about all of them, you know. Like that's I'm just excited. I'm always getting excited about new st new cards, new formats. Um, so it's so it's kind of hard. There's not really cards I'm not excited about. Oh, do they get disconnected? Looks like my opponent got disconnected. Well, I'm not I'm not counting this as a win. They did. All right, mono black aggro gets it. All right, they're back. And didn't really lose anything, you know, get to play the Radical idea during my turn. Like, it's it's honestly a, just a good turn for them still. May have been there what they preferred to do anyway. One Phoenix. But obviously you can see the power of, of Drown Secrets. By not playing the temple on turn one, which we didn't, you know, which is just a mistake by me, that obviously really cost me because I'm having to play Love Struck Beast instead of one of these things. Any of those five drops would have been better, like Cavalier to block Arc Light, or Hydra for Trample. Either of those would have been better. This Beast is not a very good card. That beast was a terrible card now. Two Kioras. No, that's the exact card I'm looking for. It's 
the exact card I'm looking for. <clears throat> so my plan is to have Ceratops and Thorns on defense and next turn play an 8-9 Hydra, you know, just double the counters and the turn after that play another 8-9 Hydra and hope that we can play enough defense and have the 8-9 Tramplers finish the game. Um, honestly, I'd, I would be surprised if that plan works, but I think that's my best plan right now. Because they should be able to find more phoenixes and creeping chills. They get to just mill over their whole library, basically. So I would be very surprised if this plan actually works. I talked about drown secrets on the play. Turn two. That's how the that's how this deck wins. Another Phoenix. <clears throat> it's like that that drown secrets milled over I don't know, twenty cards. Um, they're a new creature with an ETB that's very similar to Factor Fiction. Is that a question, or? A statement? I guess I don't have any real, either way, I guess if it's a statement, I don't really have any real thoughts on that. Yeah, yeah, the mono white formation, yeah, that's a good standard deck, and for this format, it's it's awesome. The one loss was multi five sweeper. We still rebuilt and um, like we're looking good, and then second sweeper. That was our one loss. But this this best of one underpowered format, I certainly think it's the best deck to be playing. If you want, if you just want to play for wins. The ocean surges, life thrives. Okay, attacking Kiora. Smells fishy here. True heretics will feel the bite of my blades. I was trained. <clears throat> Basically doing this because of the scry. But I know they can just they can spend their turn, you know, they attack Kior for one, activate knight, attack Samet for four. They can spend their turn having their, their two knights kill my two planeswalkers. But that's just, you know, kind of a waste of another turn. I get to attack back for four with Paradise Druid. And, you know, not let them... 
you know, try to try to actually get ahead here. But I don't know. They they have all the cards, of course. I just have a couple of two ones. Oh wow. Discard that hand, draw three. Hmm. Well, it doesn't really look very good for me. They even have the castle. Unfortunately, have not really drawn us anything important since we mulliganed. I wish I would have kept this cavalier, but it would have gotten thoughts eased away. And Knight of the Ebon Legion is going to take this over. Okay. I would love to attack, but if I do, I, I'm taking lethal. It's none of these cards that save me. Best bet is Voracious Hydra. It's like my only removal spell. Couldn't gain the traction there. All right, we're going to lead with the temple this time, like I should have before. Oh, we're playing seven, so we're playing, we're playing one more with this deck. I mean, so far, it's only been 34 minutes with the deck, though, too. Seems like we could make a sweet mono green deck with like four Wildborn Preserver, four Kral Harpooner, and then you know, like four Vivian, um, Yorvo, Evolution Sage, 
We can make a pretty sweet mono. Mono green. Anti-metagame deck, I think. That, there you go, check out that site there, Captain. That should kind of help give you an idea on uh, some metagame stuff. You're making me crabby. Moving. I should not have minus Kiora. already i won't lose strike now strike hard nature flows with vigor all right so voracious hydra has reach now and so will the cavalier of thorns It's more important to save Vivian. I'm a survivor. So the Vivian's ability to give my creature reach and also flash in creatures. Let me show you what was lost. Yeah, I guess I guess I probably could have attacked with it. You can still walk away. Attack. All right, we'll make that trade. Two, three, four, five. It's like 
I can adapt Incubation Druid. Uh, it's gonna like mess with the auto tap's gonna mess this up. Definitely can't trust the auto tap. Vivian has just been incredible for us. Hmm. <clears throat> I kind of want to minus the in a blade of grass. Vivian. I guess they're just going to hang executioner exile the Bioess and Hydra. Worth it to attack with everything. Let's put this pressure on him. Alright, exiling a Cavalier of Thorns. Yeah, I guess blocking the Trample creature with the 2-2, probably not a wonderful idea. They could have blocked the Incubation Druid. Good card. Mm. You fight like a city brat. All right, Benny, take care. You ever lost a home? Well, that's unfortunate. That was three good cards that I wanted to find. All right in a row. So we, we were... 
We were, of course, dead if they tapped my Cavalier and then attacked in. I tried to represent strength. By not playing the Lovestruck Beast. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eat that. Good, not unbreakable formation. <laughs> Basically not risking, just trading there because I don't have like a 1-1 one -one to make that thing attack anyway. Playing that, playing that grows the Bios and Hydra. Glad they waited a turn. Glad they waited a turn there. And didn't do that the turn before. All right, so there we go. Simic Hydra. Again, not the not the best of decks, but a fun one to play. Bios and Hydra is just a sweet card. <clears throat> we were about to make that Bios and Hydra that we had in play it was going to be a 16-16 that turn. But yeah, this had, has made me want to play make like a just a mono green anti-flyer deck, which I think we could make a pretty sweet mono green anti-flyer deck, honestly. That could do really good in this event. Yeah, I kind of want to make that. Um, so we may we may do that tonight. We'll see. Yeah, we, we actually may do that, because we got we got some more time here. We're going to move to Grixis Alliance first, though. Um, but anyway, there we go. Simic Hydra. All right. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, you know what to do. Hit that like button over there. Um, let me know what you think of, you know, the standard shake-up format and just, you know, everything in life, your New Year's resolutions, all that kind of stuff. Leave those comments over on YouTube. I'd appreciate that. Thanks so much for watching some Mick Hydra, though, and I'll see you for the next video.